Hello and welcome back to another Marvel Champions live stream. Today, I figured we would go through, since yesterday we posted a video, Villain Theory, and I posted a video where we were talking about some of our favorite villain matchups in the game, and I realized that I hadn't played a lot of those in a good little bit. And so today, at least the minimum of what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking on Hela as well as Kang. And so those are kind of the two that we have at least penciled in. We may go with a little bit more, but we're definitely getting through those two. Those can be a little bit longer scenarios, so we'll see how long they take. But first up, we have to go with Hela versus Cable. So they're both about putting, you know, those side schemes in the victor display. Both of them are going to get powerful and more powered up when they, you know, get the side schemes in the victory display. And so it's a little exciting hey darcy hey diablo how is it going welcome she'll get so big i know i know and that's not where we're gonna stop that's not where we're gonna stop because what we're doing is we are running this is actually just kind of fun hell it takes two mod sets right hey gorismo how's it going welcome 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 uh so hell it takes two mod sets and so because we're playing kang next we're playing master of time to bring in kang and have kang infiltrate this game as well but then we're also going to be playing with the Galactic Artifacts, which also adds things to the victory display. And so it's going to be a all-out slinging game. I am excited. Uh, I am pumped. It's going to be it's going to be interesting, to say the least. So I'm going to turn on my music because I totally forgot to do that. And it's really quiet in this room. So one second, let me do that. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now I have voices in my head. Okay. I am also, for the first time ever, streaming it to um, TikTok as well. So, we, uh, I'm, on, I'm live on TikTok for the first time ever. So, we'll see how that goes. Hope you brought some chump blockers for when it gets, <laughs> it gets up to like 11 attack. We also have the telekinetic shield. So, we'll see how it goes. What I'm hearing is in a long game finished very quickly by one. <laughs> yes. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Okay. So we haven't built a deck, so we are going to build a deck. I kind of wanted to lean into leadership. I realized I have not played leadership in a while. And so I wanted to try a leadership X-Force Uncanny X-Force deck. It's all about, you know, a lot of side schemes in the deck. So I think we're going to lean into that and lean into that strategy a little bit. So let's try that. So I think, you know, I really haven't built a X-Force deck or a leadership X-Force deck yet, but shouldn't be too, too out of the, or too, too crazy. So first things first, we're going to grab Uncanny X-Force. So this is our team up card, play under any player's control. And then if each of your characters has the X-Force trait, um, each ally you control gets plus one thwart and takes minus one consequential damage after thwarting a side scheme. Oh, we're definitely taking mission leader. Definitely going to take mission leader. We're going to reduce the cost to play this by one if we have the soldier trait, which we do on both sides of our uh, hero form, or both sides of our identity card. And after a side scheme is defeated, we can exhaust mission leader to every player gets to draw a card. So, beautiful. Let's go find our X-Force allies. Actually, let's grab Call for Backup because that's never not going to be a good idea. <laughs> X-Force allies, we've got Domino. So after you use one of Domino's basic powers, swap a card with a card from the top of your deck. We've got Phantom X and EVA, which we will see... I, I mean, we're going to take them because I think we are a little limited on how many allies we can have. I'm kind of curious how this is going to work if because I think a lot of the X-Force allies are pretty big and expensive. We got Caliban. But they're also kind of expensive, and so they kind of lean away from the whole chump block idea. Oh, 
Villain Theory, the X-Force doesn't work for cheap. <laughs> That's fair. A lot of X-Force is high cost and good Voltron targets, aka non-chump blockers. <laughs> Hella, and I haven't played Hella in a, in a good second. Hella is, does she have, she gains Solar with the cloak. And so the other way that we could kind of lean into, which there's not a ton out there for, for leadership is to try and stun lock, but we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Congrats villain theory on snatching some villain fix from Nelson. Yeah. Yeah. So we had a draft last week. We had a draft last week that got posted yesterday that. We drafted our top five villains to celebrate Shadow of the Cast episode four, which is coming out today. Really soon, I think, actually. Good episode. We revisited the Guardian allies. Or the Guardian wave to see how how that how that went. I guess Cannonball is X Force. Yeah, uh, it may Yeah, this may be kind of rough. We'll try. We'll try. What's the worst that could happen? Okay. Um, I mean, we have to go all in on the, the side schemes, right? We got to do it. But yeah, Villain Theory kept taking all of the... Everything that I wanted. Everything that I wanted. The Villain Theory was one pick ahead of me. It was very sad. Pete Wisdom. When revealed effects on a treasure guard, heal one damage from Pete Wisdom. Hope Summers. Yeah, they are not they are not cheap cheap allies at all. Wonder if we could uh, Don't forget about energy, genius, strength. That was really, oh yeah, good call. Thank you. Okay. We got energy, uh, genius strength. Let's go find I mean honestly actually render medical aid established perimeter are gonna be really really good here because I'm not a hundred percent sure we're always gonna be taking hits from Hella. The other thing is is we can run outs we can run non Yeah, we we can run non X Force um allies, we just can't get the bonus of um uncanny x-force while they're on the table which just means that we need to kill them off or thwart before yeah hey she busy thank you for the great content i appreciate you thank you so very much villain theory i have villain in my name i had to be villainous when it came to villains that's that's the other thing that i was saying i was like you got to i was like if if anything i if I have to lose any of these drafts, it's going to be the one for villain, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> Hope Summer's Alley might be good for searching. Oh, those telekinetic shields. Excellent call. Yeah, good call, though, Romeo. Yeah, if we grab Hope Summer's. We got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. I'm going to grab take out, not take out the guards, but what is the lay of the trap? That's just going to be some nice damage fairly easily to grab. I wish Angel Ally was X-Force. He'd be a good chump. He would be a good chump. And I think that what we will probably do is we'll have two to three consistent allies out there, which I would be okay chumping with. And then rotate it in with a couple of really inexpensive chump blockers and play those after we have thwarted or play them um, at the end of the turn when they can come in and chump for us. Because it doesn't, we don't necessarily have to just lean into the X Force. We just only get that bonus when we do. Good morning, Bobo404. How you doing? Okay. What am I looking for here? I'm looking for my. Lock and load.
honestly kind of okay not running lock and load. I think we are going to be fine in terms of number of side schemes. <laughs> I think that's going to be just fine. So let's uh let's hop back over here. Oh, Sunspot's at X Force. I don't know why he's on this front page. And we are at 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 19. So six more cards. Two, three, four, five, six. Let's grab Nick. X. And let's look at our basic cards. Can't go wrong with Death Focus. That is very true. We don't have any resource generators. We do have Gray Malkin in there, but let's grab Death Focus. Death Focus. We got one, two, three, four, five. So not quite enough to run a power on all of us, but we got two, four, six. 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. We've got three more. And I think I want those to probably be chump blockers. And so let's just grab the best chump blockers in the game. We got Maria. Probably Kalu. I think Kalu is going to be great because we can grab mind scans and telekinetic blast. I am kind of curious to see how high we can get some of these telekinetic blast. Um, I wonder if ready for action is good here. Ready for action. Domino is in the deck. Yes, Domino's in the deck. What is ready for action? I don't even remember what cards are at this point. Is ready for action the one where they don't take consequentials? Yeah. Yeah, that's mission planning. What is ready for action? It's an event that gives allies a tough. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm down. Yes. Yeah. You went past it. It's Spider Woman on it. Very yeah, that's that's super interesting. I think so. Yeah, let's grab. I don't remember the last time I ever played this card. I'm guessing that it is still in one of my old sleeves here. Yeah, it is. Because cheap chumps are good, so good already. <laughs> I love it. It's a really, really good call. That puts us at two four. That puts us at forty one. I'm kind of okay with forty one. There's nothing that I'm completely missing, right? I think we'll be good. Let's try. I want to get in and start playing Hella because I really like Hella. All right. How many how many side schemes do you think we can get in there? Three. We're running five side schemes. Six with TVP, and then we have Galactic Artifacts. So we could easily get up to like ten in the in the victory display. If we have ten side schemes in the victory display, then we are telekinetic blast rating for. More health than Hella has. Well, actually, Hella gets boosted with side schemes as well. So that'll be fun. That'll be kind of fun. Hmm. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so Hella, let's read Odin's, Odin's Torment. So attach Odin to the main scheme, captive side face up. Oh, he's going to also turn off mission planning. Oh, well. So, mission planning and Odin do not are not friends. So, there is that. Oops. Oh, well. 
Uh, reveal Nidifolir and Garm set the others outside out of play. Shuffle the encounter deck. So we've got uh, Garm here. Garm is toughness, victory two. Garm engages the first player, and threat cannot be removed from Nidifolir. Nidifolir is uh, two hinder one, victory two. When defeated, the first player reveals. The next two, which is Galabru and Scourge, and puts them into play. Deal each other player one face on encounter card. This comes in with one acceleration token. And we threat out at 18. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Alrighty. Hella starts out, we're playing expert, so Hella starts out at a 2-2. Two, two. She gets plus 1, plus 1, and plus 3 health for each side scheme in the victory display. When Hella is defeated, if Odin is not attached to the main scheme, you win the game. I'm scared about this, actually. This is going to be terrifying. Um, I think I have Hella tokens. Yeah, I do. Don't have enough Hella tokens, because I don't think when I bought these, I realized that I was ever going to put more than... You know, four side schemes in the victory display. But here we are. Alrighty. So, Nathan Summers. We have Soldier S. Set up, set your deck and discard power for a player's side scheme and reveal it. I think that's probably going to be... Pretty consistently always, at this point, build support. Oh, we got Professor, which is excellent. Ascani Sun, Temporal Leap, Telekinetic Blash, Mission Leader turn one, and a Death Lock. So Ascani Sun is nice. I don't know if I'm going to take that. I'm definitely taking Mission Leader and Professor. We're taking not Death Lock, not Telekinetic Blast, not Temporal Leap. We thread out at 18. I think Temporal Leap may be a slightly overkill here. So let's go ahead and mulligan. Go ahead and mulligan into. Yeah. Render Medical Aid. Caliban. Telekinetic Blast. And a Professor X. We'll use our Soldier X setup ability to go grab Build Support. Comes in with three. When defeated, we get to search our deck and discard pile for a support card and put it into play for free. Yeah, hell is going to be huge. <laughs> okay. Okay, if we draw a Professor, we can draw into a card, but we can't. Okay, so I'm trying to figure out how I can get Mission Leader and X on the table at the same time. And I honestly don't know if I can. If I play Professor X... I Before I clear build support, if I play Professor X, then I can clear build support, get Great Malkin... I can play mission leader and then do everything else. But I, I miss out on the card draw of mission leader. If I do that, what if I render medical aid for professor draw a card? I can play professor X, but then I won't be able to play mission leader. But that may be fine. If I'm losing out on the card draw on mission leader, regardless, I may as well just... And if I draw a double, that changes pretty much everything. Aha. Then uh, I do have X. Oh, wait. Mission leader costs one because I have soldier. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. So in that case, we're going to go render medical aid for professor. Professor will draw us a card into Forced Amnesia. 
We will use Telekinetic Blast Caliban and Forced Amnesia to play Professor X. When Professor X enters play, we will choose to Confuse Hella. Then we will use Professor X to thwart down build support. That's one there. And we're going to go grab Gray Malkin. Gray Malkin, yeah, after a side scheme is defeated, ready Gray Malkin, exhaust Gray Malkin to generate a lightning resource. We'll go ahead and use that to play Mission Leader. Mission Leader says that after a side scheme is defeated, exhaust Mission Leader, each player draws a card. So, we got our engine running. We got it running. Um, and Hella is scary. Let's flip up to Cable. We'll just knock the tough here. We'll we'll get this ready to go here. He's toughness, victory two, but he does not have villainous. So we're going to take some damage, but that's fine. Okay. Cable is going to draw up to ready for action. Genius. Telekinetic force field. Uncanny X force. Beautiful. And an energy. Alrighty. Well, it's going to be a build turn. We're going to place two thread here. Up to three. Hella is going to attack us for three plus a boost card. X is going to jump in plus two. That's going to be enough to take X out. And then we have Garm hitting us for two. Our encounter card is an advance. Lose the confuse. Okay. I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm pretty okay with that, actually. We use Energy for Uncanny X-Force. We will use Genius for Telekinetic Force Field. We'll use Cable to hit Garm for two. We're going to flip down. Use Professor to go tutor a side scheme. Which I think... We're going to take Call for Backup. We're going to get Call for Backup in our hand. So, Professor, we can exhaust to choose to draw a card or search our deck and discard power for a player's side scheme. So, we're going to grab our Call for Backup. Then we'll, we will use Gray Malkin to play Call for Backup to put three threats on there. We have a Ready for Action, which we're going to toss. We'll stand up. I'm going to place two here, and Hella is going to scheme like crazy. Hella is scheming for three, plus three is six. That's awful. So we're up to 11. And Garm is going to scheme for 12. Our encounter card is a magical teapot. The player defeated this game may heal four damage from their identity. It comes in with five. This is a wild and fast game. I never drew my hand. <laughs> we got EVA, Mind Scan is big, Precog, Plasma Rifle, Domino, and Death Focus. Alrighty. Professor will draw us a card, which is Established Perimeter. We're at 10 health, which is fine. We're going to flip up to Cable. Scary on the threat, but your board looks pretty great. Yeah. We're going to use Gray Malkin to play Death Focus. We're going to go ahead and We have a. Mm, mm. 
Okay, so we have Call for Backup, which can get an ally. We have Magical Teapot, which prevents a encounter card. And we have Garm. So I'm going to be able to clear one of these two. If I do Call for Backup, I will get a ally, which then can help us clear Magical Teapot if we want. Also, this is scary. I need to deal with the main scheme. I think I only look at one of these. I think it's going to be Call for Backup. I think I look at taking out Call for Backup. I get a... Mm, Magical Teapot's really bad. I think I look at taking out Magical Teapot. We're going to thwart two off of Magical Teapot. We'll use Death Focus and Establish Perimeter to play Mind Scheme. Or Mind Scan. To clear Magical Teapot. It's going to beef up Hella. That's going to heal us for two. Gray Malkin and Cable ready. Mission Leader exhaust to draw us a card into strength. Okay. We'll use EVA and strength to play Domino. And then we will... I didn't quite think that I wouldn't be able to use Plasma Rifle. We'll use Grey Malkin and Precognition to play Plasma Rifle. Domino will go ahead and knock out Garm. Cable will thwart two here on Odin's Torment. Okay. I think, you know, we're... <clears throat> we'll see. We do have Telekinetic Force Field, so we do have that. I'm going to stand everyone up. I think the main... We have a lot of mind skins coming. So we got Sunspot, Kalu, Maria. Here's all my allies. Jeez, Lay the Trap, and Superpower Training. There you go. So two, four, five. Perfect. We'll add two. Hella is going to attack us for four. We'll block with... Do we use our telekinetic force field here? Or do we just take the hit? We're at 12. I think we just take the hit here. And we save Domino. We're going to take the hit. Uh, four. Attach Hella's crown. Uh, after Hella's schemes, give her a face down boost card. She gets plus one scheme. So she only hits us for four. One, two, three, four. So we're only down to eight. So I'm actually... That's totally fine. And then we've got a Hella's Domain. Place one threat on the main scheme. Place one additional threat for each side scheme in the victory display. Oh, that's a terrifying card. Okay, so this goes up to 15. That's, uh, that's good to know that that's in there. That's good. That's good. I'm, I'm happy. Um, <laughs> All righty. We're going to have We're going to have Domino thwart 2 off of call for backup. Cable will thwart the final off of call for backup, which will allow us to go and find an ally and put it into play. Which I'm th I don't even have a target for Deathlock. What am I doing? I need a target for Deathlock. That was... Oops. Which, honestly, Phantom X is... An interesting call. We also have Nick. We have a lot of blocks. So I'm thinking that... Actually, Hope... Hope allows us to go get a Mind Scan. Which is going to help us with the... Yeah, we're going to grab Hope. So after you play after you play Hope Summers from your hand, we're not gonna go get Hope because we're not playing Hope Summers from our hand. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna go grab Nick. We're gonna nah. we have two mind scans in our deck, and we have we have a Kalu and we have a Maria Hill. So we probably oh I have not been adding more health to Hella. Good call. So we need plus nine health. One two three four five six seven eight nine. I just wasn't planning on attacking her. 
<laughs> because whenever you defeat her, she cannot be defeated. After you, f after a side scheme is defeated, flip hell to her mystic side, so she's flipping over. So she gets a lot easier. Um, the other thing is, is we could go get Professor X. Sorry to make life. No, no. Thank you for catching it. Thank you. Yeah. I think I think we're going to go get I think we're going to get Hey, Tainted Catalyst. Thank you for the subscription with Prime. I appreciate it. Hopefully, you're having a fantastic day. Thank you so very much. You're amazing. I I'm having a hard time with this. I think what we're going to do is go grab We're going to grab Professor X. I think I want Professor X here because that confuses Hella and saves us a lot of a lot of issues. So we'll confuse Hella. Okay. Whenever we defeat a side scheme, we get to ready cable. Oh, Gray Malkin should have readied. What did what am I doing? What am I doing here? Mission leader triggers to draw a card into a Phantom X. We're going to use a Sunspot and a Lay the Trap to play Kalu. When Kalu enters play, we get to search the top five cards of our deck for an event. Add it to our hand. There's the Mind Scan that we're looking for. We grab Mind Scan because now Mind Scan is removing six threat, which helps with that main scheme. Okay. We got Def Focus and Gray Malkin to play Mind Scan to remove six threat from here. So there's five. We'll take this down to nine. We got X and Cable to remove five, which will take this down to four. We'll use Maria Hill to play Superpower Training. It's going to come in with three. Have you ever had... I have a chance to play Psylocke or Angel. Cody, yes, I have played both of them. Out of the two, I really like... Um, I like them both, actually. I think I like Psylocke a little bit more than Angel. But they're both fantastic. Yes, 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 yes. And then we'll use Plasma Rifle to hit Hella for three, because we have three in the victory display. One, two, three. Kalu will go ahead and just hit one on Superpower Training to start getting that set up for us. Yeah. All right, let's stand up. What's nice here is that we can block with X and kill off Kalu because we can um two four five we can kill off Kalu just by taking a consequential which can open back up uncanny x force if we wanted to we got body slide deadpool hope summers tvp and a ready for action pretty happy with that we're gonna throw two here hell is going to attack us for four we're gonna block with professor x plus zero Then our encounter card is Crystal Ball. The player defeated this scheme may play a card from their hand, reducing their cost by three. Not too, not too shabby. That comes in with five. <laughs> what a chaotic game. Okay.
Alrighty. Okay. So we know Mind Scan is one of these two cards. So I'm thinking that what we do is play Body Slide, Roll Down, Use Professor to draw a card, and hopefully it is Mind Scan. Then if it's Mind Scan, we can hit Crystal Ball, play Deadpool. And live out our life in happy and happiness and bliss. I think that seems fair. Okay, let's uh let's use Or is it worth it just to see if we can draw it off of a mission leader? That's probably better actually. Yeah, because then we can keep body slide. And Professor is just replacing Body Slide in our hand. Let's go ahead and use Gray Malkin. Now, this is what we're going to do. We're going to have Domino. No. Dang it. <laughs> this whole X-Force needing to keep the X Uncanny X-Force alive is uh, is, is tough. Is <laughs> We'll have we'll have Kalu go ahead and knock himself out. We'll have him thwart the main. That's gonna kill Kalu. But then we're able to have Domino thwart for two off of Crystal Ball. She does not take a counter or a consequential damage. We use Gray Malkin to play ready for action to give her a tough status card. Then we'll use Cable to thwart two off of Superpower Training. One, two, three. Getting a lot of, a lot of health. <laughs> um, and then a lot of things happen. We're gonna go find a upgrade to put into play. Here a specific upgrade to put into play. Could be Forced Amnesia, which I don't think I actually really wanna play that. I'm going to play Temporal Leap. Mission Leader will draw into Nick Fury. And then Cable gets to ready because he's the one who defeated the sides game. Now we do have Nick. And we could play... We could just drop Nick. And then we could draw into the Mind Scan. Oh, and Gray Malkin's ready. And then we have Death Focus and Mind Scan ready to go. So let's use Body Slide, TVP, Hope Summers, and Deadpool. Yeah. To play Nick Fury. We'll draw four cards. We got Mind Scan. <gasps> Did not see that coming. So Mind Scan is now removing seven threat. So that feels pretty good. And depending on what we draw, we could either go with Crystal Ball or we could just kind of hit the main. We may actually, we may want to hit Nidafalir at some point. Hope, Deadpool. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Let's go Gray Malkin, Death Focus to play Mind Scan. No, hold on, sorry. We have a lot going on. We got Nick can still do something. We have Deadpool. I think what I wanna do is I think I wanna play Deadpool. Trying to figure out the best way to actually be be able to do that. I think I need to. Or if we hit Nidafalir. Scourge comes in. He does have toughness. Which I think I actually put Garm in the wrong spot. Okay.
Nick can clear. Our mind scan can clear the main. Nick and Cable can clear Crystal Ball. So let's go Great Malkin, Death Focus, Mind Scan. We'll clear this main. We'll go Nick and Cable to Nick first. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. To take out Crystal Ball. We're now at plus five. One, two, three. The villain has 21 health. This is horrible. This is super not great. We get to play a card from our hand, reducing its cost by three. It's going to be Deadpool. Deadpool will go ahead and thwart for two off of Nidofalir. Great Malkin gets ready. Plasma Rifle will get fueled by Great Malkin and hit Hella for four. One, two, three, four. Down to 17. Now, I could... I could flip down. These are useless. We got four, five. We'll go here. Domino should have two. Nope, she, because she didn't take consequentials. I think I'm going to save the confuse just because I have a block with Nick, and then it protects against an advance, which is great. Um, but right now she's scheming for two, three, four, five, six, seven, plus a boost card. So yeah, but I, honestly, I like, I, I feel like I'm pretty ready to next turn, just push through Nidofalir and yeah. Yep. Okay. So we'll stand up. We're going to stay in hero form so that Nick can get his full utilization. We're going to toss hope. And then also now we have... We want to take out Nidofalir, then Hela, in that order, because once we add a side scheme to the victory display, Hela flips back to her mystic side. So we want to time that correctly. So we got Establish Perimeter, Mind Scan, Beautiful, Body Slide, okay, Genius, and a Techno Virus Purge. So actually, I think we'll hit TVP with the Mind Scan here. Yeah. Okay, we'll add two, because this is actually only one now. Hella is going to attack us. We're going to block with Nick. Hella is attacking us for two, three, four, five, six, seven. Plus, uh, attach Hella's cloak to Hella, and she gains stalwart. Okay, so we really have to kill Hella now. Um, cool. N Nick is uber gone. He's banished to the Shadow Realm. Counter cards. King, Master of Time, Toughness, Villainous. Good. Good. Gets plus one for each obligation in our play area. And we got uh, the Vandarian Power Wand. Attach the enemy with the lowest scheme, which is very much Kang. Spend three lightning resources to get rid of that card. I think I need to just kill Kang regardless. So. Cool. <laughs> cool. Hmm. Let's go Gray Malkin for... No, wait, no. No, no, no. Let's play TVP. Cable will knock the tough off of Kang. We will use Grey Malkin and Deaf Focus to play Mind Scan, which is enough to clear TVP. We'll give one, two, three. Hella has too much health. Believe in the heart of the cards, exactly. <laughs> we do get plus one to all of our stats. Is that the right one? Cable gets to ready. Gray Malkin gets to ready. Mission leader exhausts to draw into lay the trap. Okay. Kang has six health. We have to kill Kang. 
which can be Grey Malkin, Plasma Rifle, and Deadpool. It's enough to take Kang out. I think we will have Deadpool jump in front of Hela for us. Twenty health. Where are my where are my telekinetic attacks? Yeah, I need I need a. Hmm. We could play established perimeter. We could body slide, use professor, and just see what we get. We're at eight, so I think that's fine. Yeah, let's go ahead and use body slide. We'll flip down. We use professor to draw a card into ready for action. Okay. We'll use our normal flip to change back to cable. We'll use a lay the trap to play ready for action to give Deadpool a tough status card. And then we'll use genius to play established perimeter. We're not going to thwart down established perimeter at this point, but we are going to keep it around for next turn. But I don't get any of the benefits, really, if I do thwart it down right now. We're going to hit Hella for three. We got one, two, three. We're going to take Hella down to 17. Domino, do we preserve the tough? I think Domino, we're going to preserve the tough. So let's go ahead and stand up. I would have pushed that turn if we didn't get Kang. I, we had to take care of Kang. How's everyone's weekend? We got Deathlock. I can't believe I didn't put it stupid. There's the Telekinetic Blast, Sunspot, and Precog. So two, four, five. We've got two here. Villain Theory and I talked for a long time on our on our podcast, but I think there's a there's a lot of extra stuff in there, is that right? <laughs> Villain <laughs> that we were able to cut out. Nice. Okay. We're going to place two threat here. Two threat on the main. Hella is going to attack us. <laughs> Hella is going to attack us. We're going to throw Deadpool in front of it. She's attacking us for two. We've got two, four, six. So she's attacking us for eight. My weekend was all right. I had to edit the podcast. For <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I talk a lot. Deadpool is going to soak a huge attack. Thank you for the ready for action. That was a good call. That was a good, good call. So Deadpool soaks the tough. Our encounter card is going to be an assault. Okay, we're going to have Domino block this one. Uh, soak another tough. I'm glad I did not waste Domino. Well, I guess Domino would have been fine. But yeah, okay. So, Villain is at 17. If we use a Telekinetic Blast, it's 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then, if we, if we thwart down Established Perimeter, actually, if we thwart down Nidifolir, it would be enough to kill Hela for the Plasma Rifle and uh, the Telekinetic Blast. So, that's nice. Also, Precog is looking at, like, seven cards right now. So that's impressive. We also have Sunspot. Okay, so I, I think let's use Gray Malkin to plasma rifle for four. One, two, three, four. Cable will go ahead and knock out Nidofalir. When defeated, the first player reveals this guy. This comes in with four. It has a amplify icon because we we just were not drawing enough. Um, and then Scourge. Scourge comes in with toughness, victory two. Or victory three. Um, engages the first player. And Scourge has piercing. That's good to know. That's good to know. And then this comes over here. We'll go up to plus seven. 
Okay, Malkin readies, Cable readies, Mission Leader, Exhausted draws into a Maria Hill. That's that's nice. And then Threat cannot be removed while Scourge is in play. Okay. We have Gray Malkin, Death Focus, and Deathlock. To play Telekinetic Blast for 6 plus 7, so 13, which is enough to take Hella down. Oh, Hella gets another plus 3. Dang it. 1, 2, 3. Good call. So down to 3 health. And then Cable will knock Hella into the Shadow Realm. So after a side scheme is defeated, flip Hella to her Mystic side. So she is down to 0. She has a 0, 0. And then Forced Response... When Hell is defeated, how do you get rid of the attachments? I thought it was defeating Hella. Am I? Oh, here we go. When Hella would be defeated, if Odin is attached to the scheme, discard each attachment from Hella and flip her to a wound just that instead. There you go. Okay. That's where it is. So whenever we flip Hella back over, we're going to have just a stupid amount of health on her. I'm okay with that. Okay. We'll use Sunspot and Precog to play Maria. It's going to draw us a card into Caliban. Maria will go ahead and th ooh, knock the tough. We're going to toss Caliban. We're going to keep the Mind Scan just because the Mind Scan is going to be able to hit the main will stand up. Alrighty. So we're going to hang on to the mind scan. We're going to draw into telekinetic blast, X, amnesia, and medical aid to perfect. We're sitting at eight. So we're, yeah, you know what? If we're at eight, we can probably take the hit. So let's go ahead and we'll place two threat here, taking us up to eight. Hell is going to hit us for one, two, because we do have an amplify. Hell is wounded. Yeah, she is. Yeah, hell is wounded right now. Um, we're at eight. Eh. Do we toss someone in front of this? I don't think we do. Uh, we're going to take it. Two, three. One, two, three. And then we are going to block Maria with Scourge. I don't know why I put a damage on him. He does not have a damage. Knock the tough. Force field generator is also there as a safeguard. That's a, our telekinetic force field. Yeah, good call. Good call. Good call. I need to remember that. <laughs> our encounter card is a caught off guard discard an upgrade or support you control. Professor? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good. Okay. We have to kill Scourge. We have Mission Leader. So what I'm thinking is if we kill Scourge, we take out Established Perimeter. That flips Hella. Hella comes in, and we can have X and a Telekinetic Blast. We can start chipping away at Hella. 
I don't think I want to take this out because then we have to deal with skull or Nidog, which is not good. And a uh and we could confuse Okay, this is what we're going to do. We are going to Great Malkin Plasma Rifle here. Cable will clear established perimeter. We have four damage on Scourge. So established perimeter pops over here. Hello's is going to flip. And she gets nine. We have eight. So 24. She's 30. Sorry, I just got a notification. Uh, so we got three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 33. Ew. 33. And she's at a nine, nine plus amplify. So that's probably fine, right? <laughs> Cable gets ready. Great Malkin gets ready. Mission leader triggers to draw us a card. We also get a tough status card because that was the whole point. Domino will take out Scourge. We'll play Render Medical Aid. This will have three. Hello, have you been going to the gym? You're looking a lot stronger. Ain't that the truth? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, Uncanny X-Force, if each of your characters has the X-Force trait, each ally you control takes plus one thwart and takes minus one consequential damage after thwarting a side scheme. I read that is they consistently get the plus one thwart, but only the minus one if they thwart a side scheme. Am I reading that correctly or incorrectly? Correct. Sweet. Okay. Thank you. We're going to have Deadpool go ahead and thwart three off of the main. When that happens, he gets knocked out. In step, he has a force interrupt. We're going to place a acceleration token and heal him everything. I'm excited for you. No, no, mate. <laughs> please, no, please, no. Um, I got force amnesia and energy to play Professor X. At that point, we're going to confuse Hella. We've got Cable and X to take the rest of the threat here. Then we got Gray Malkin, Death Focus, and a Mind Scan to play Telekinetic Blast for 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 damage. So down to 19. That's a, that's a pretty beefy Telekinetic Blast right there. Okay, let's stand up. This is a really fun match. This is really fun. We got ready for action. Beautiful. Strength. Ascani Sun. Kalu. And an EVA. We got two, four, five. I'm looking for I have two telekinetic blasts and one or in three mind scans. There's my telekinetics mind scan. Okay, so I am actually not sure. He could be a ready for action. I'm trying to figure out if Kalu is worth playing. No, ready for action's there. We'll see. All right, let's add three. Two. Three. We got three there. Hell is going to attack. We're going to block with X for a stupid amount. Do yourself one face down and counter card. Excellent. 
Encounter cards. First one, Ancient Grudge. King Master of Time activates against you. If he's not in play, search and find a King Master of Time. Toughness Villainous. Then we got the Monarch Egg. The player defeated this scheme may ready their identity. Comes in with five and an acceleration token. We may not touch that. Is that Phantom X? Yeah, the last card's Phantom X. Okay, so it is our turn. Oh, okay, we have to take out Kang. Okay, let's use Mission Leader. Mm. Not quite yet. Let's use Domino. I think I have to I think I have to step back one turn, take out Kang, then look to take out Hella. Actually I can't even look to or take out uh this here. Or I just take that out. We have a toughness six health. Can I take care of that? I don't think I can. No, two attacks from Cable. We have to ping the tough somehow. That's the hardest part. Comes in with five, which Deadpool and Domino can take care of, but then we don't have a way to clear. Okay, we're gonna we have to slow down one turn. Let's let's figure out Kang. And maybe like render medical aid and stuff. Yeah, we, we'll hit render medical aid. We're at five health. Yeah, we're good. Okay, sweet. Gray Malkin. Uh, ooh, actually. Deadpool will knock the tough. Gray Malcolm will play ready for action, which will give Deadpool a tough status card. I wanted to do that before he activated, or after he activated. Then we're going to use Cable to take out Render Medical Aid. We got one, two, three. We're up to two, four, six, eight, nine side schemes. We heal five. One, two, three, four, five. We're up to ten. Mission Leader triggers to draw into Phantom X. We get an encounter card, Gray Malkin readies. Actually, Phantom X may be the right thing to drop here. Oh, EVA is a great ping pinger for tough yeah yeah that's the that's the right call here oh and cable gets ready we're gonna go strength eva and gray malkin to play phantom x when phantom x enters play we're gonna go grab eva Plasma Rifle and Kalu will deal four to Kang. And we've got Cable to take Kang out. Oh, I put I put all my damage in the wrong. I was like, where am I ready? I put all my damage in the wrong. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so Phantom X is now thwarting for two EVA can ready. Or EVA can heal. Did 
Domino is thwarting for two. We do have everything with X-Force. Let's go Domino to thwart two off of here. I'm really scared for the Nemesis that I'm not going to lie. Um, we have it set up so that next turn, next turn, we have, you know, a tough finger. We're, we could probably, yeah, I'm going to keep Kalu and actually use Ascani Sun to pay for Plasma Rifle. That way Kalu can go search for a Telekinetic Blast if we want it. Then Phantom X. We'll thwart for two and heal and go here. Okay, let's stand up. So many things to stand up. We've got Kalu, Maria, Mind Scan, Telekinetic Blast, beautiful, and Hope Summers. We're going to place four on the main, which is going to take us up to five. Hella is going to attack. We will take it. Uh, we'll block with Deadpool. Or do we take it to the face? I actually think we may soak the tough. And then Deadpool can be flexible during the hero phase. Because if Deadpool is still ready, he can still do stuff. We'll take it. Plus two. Knock our far tough. And counter cards, first one is the Queen of Hell. Uh, Hell attacks you, place one threat on each side scheme. So now we'll block with Deadpool. Uh, there goes Shadows. That's a huge thing to see. Oh my goodness, that's so lovely. Place one threat. And then we got Under Fire Surge, reveal the top card in the encounter deck. Ugh. Attach to Hella, she gains Piercing. Oh, that's terrifying to know that there's a boost card that gives piercing. Hydrate. Thank you so very much, Gurismo. My coffee was getting cold. Okay. And then we got an advance, which she is confused, so we're going to remove that. Thank goodness. Alrighty. It is our turn. We're going to go Gray Malkin, Death Focus, and Kalu to play Telekinetic Blast for 15. Down to, down to 7, right? Hey, BB, how's it going? I'm doing pretty good. I'm doing pretty good. We are playing Hella with galactic artifacts and cable <laughs> just uh i don't know why i don't know why we're doing it but it's it, we're having a good time okay cable will then thwart down here forgot you started an hour earlier for me as clocks went, oh clocks went, did i miss did i miss daylight savings time that does not surprise me all righty so when defeated, the first player reveals Hall and puts them into play. Villain goes up by three, so we're up to ten. And we got the Hall coming in with five threats. We got here with six health. In UK, okay, we are this next weekend. Okay, <laughs> I was like, wait a second, did I completely miss that? We're good. Okay, let's go ahead and have EVA knock off this tough. Oh wait, hold on, I'm sorry. We get to ready mission leader triggers to draw us a card into genius. Sweet.
Great Malkin's ready. That's it. Okay, Great Malkin plasma rifle will hit him for four. And Domino will take him out. Domino is also going to be knocked out. So this is when defeated. The first player detaches Odin from the main scheme and takes control of him. Does Odin take up an ally slot? He does not count against the ally limit, but he does mess with our Uncanny X-Force stuff. How many completed side schemes? We have nine completed side schemes. So Hell is coming in with uh, 36 health. <laughs> um, but I think what we want to do is we can clear this. We can clear here, the hall. We get Odin, and then if we kill Hella, we win the game. So, in that case, we're just going to go genius for a mind scan to clear here. Hella gets three health. One, two, three. Actually, I'm sorry. We have two, four, six, eight, ten. We have eleven. We have 11 in the side scheme, so <laughs> 4, 8. <laughs> and then this is gone. <laughs> okay. And then, when defeated, the first player detaches Odin from the main scheme and adds him. So, Odin. When Hella would be defeated, if Odin is attached to this scheme, discard each attachment from Hella and flip her to a wounded side instead. If Odin is not attached to me. Okay, so if we beat him, we win. For some reason, I thought Odin... Is is King Odin just in the campaign? Maybe, it may be. Uh, Grey Malkin readies. We we'll use Gray Malkin and Hope to play Maria Hill. We get to draw a card into Body Slide. We've got three, six, seven, eight. Down to six. No, down to five. Okay, so the villains have five. Got two, one, one. We'll stay here. We'll stand up. We're going to toss body slide. We don't need that. We got mind scan, telekinetic blast, aka lethal. There's professor, precog, and Caliban. We're going to add four to the main. We do have a temporal leap to save if we need it. We have Hella attacking us for a stupid amount. We're going to give Maria the block. Huge block by Maria. Maria with her one health blocking an attack of... We got <laughs> three, six, ten, fourteen. Fifteen with the boost card. Encounter card here is going to be an exhaustion surge, exhaust our identity, into a light of century sphere. When defeated, I don't really care about the when defeated, because we've got a telekinetic blast for uh, six plus eleven, so seventeen damage to Hella for the for the game. That was a ton of fun. That was a really fun match. I I had a lot of fun with that. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay. Well, there goes. The, I love Hella. I think Hella is a ton of fun. And I'm really happy with my first round draft pick against Villain on taking Hella. But we're going to then transition. Our next game today is going to be the next uh, or the first overall draft pick. We're going to play Kang. We're going to take Kang. And I have not chosen a hero. So I kind of wanted to talk with you all and see who you wanted to see play Kang. I'm hoping that we can pick someone that I haven't played in a while, which 
if if we want to see someone that I have played recently, that is totally fine. But I was just looking at it. I was like, you know what? I'm just not going to pick. So, uh, who who should we play? Who should we play? Kang was first overall. Yeah. So villain took Kang first overall. I responded with a Hella and shoot. Who did I pick second? Captain Marvel. Oh yeah. Okay. You know what? I'm down. I'm down. I have not played Captain Marvel in a in a hot second. So let's uh, let's do Captain Marvel. That sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Okay. So Kang versus Captain Marvel. Villain, are you still around? You want to give me you want to give me some fun uh, modular sets to to complement your overall first round draft pick. Still waiting on you to play the cable deck I challenged you to use in the very first podcast. What do you have to say for yourself? Uh, that I am a forgetful man. Um, what was the cable deck? <laughs> I think I think that's my uh, that's my response. Is what cable deck? <laughs> um, oh shoot! Uh, it's all about the Captain Marvel ally. That's right. That's right. But yeah, let's get you some modulars. Okay. I will We'll do, we'll see how long Kang goes. We may revisit and play play that after depending on how long Kang goes. I'm going to go to the right back. I'm going to go grab all of these stuff for uh Captain Marvel and I'll see you soon. One sec. <laughs>